Hello, and welcome to another episode of Wiggy Shop. Today what I'm working on is a backup power supply in case I lose grid power. Now, the first thing anyone would say is just to go buy a generator and be done with it. And that actually is probably the simplest and best way if you need a long-term solution to not having power. My issue with generators is I don't have any use for one on a daily basis, so unless you take it out, run it, and maintain it on a regular basis, a lot of people that have generators that just sit there don't work when they actually need them to. So instead what I'm going to do, or try to do, is I got a very good deal on an inverter. And I always have extra car batteries because of the amount of vehicles that I have. So what I'm hoping to be able to do is if I were to lose power, I will be able to take the battery out of a car and put that in t on the inverter. And I have a set of capacitors there because I have a feeling that this is going to actually shut off when loads start. The battery voltage will drop and shut the inverter off. And what I'm doing today is I'm going to just do a test run. I have my refrigerator plugged into the inverter. And I'm going to log the battery voltage and see how long it will actually run to see if this is actually a possible solution. A couple of warning things if anyone was going to attempt to do this themselves. Car batteries are starting batteries. They are not designed to be deep cycled. When I do this, there's a good chance that I can take a lot of life out of the battery, but what it allows me to do is to have a solution to temporarily power things without having to maintain the extra battery but you would never want to continually cycle a battery uh, that isn't designed to be a deep cycle battery. So what I'm going to do now, because I have it set up and it's logging, is I'm going to open the refrigerator so that it starts to warm up. we can see we're holding steady at 12.2 volts and now we're just going to leave it run and see how it does for a couple hours or if my battery depletes too quickly to make this really useful. So it took close to an hour and it ran through a cooling cycle and I'm going to force it into another cooling cycle so I can just get an idea as to what the run time will be and also what kind of load it sees when it starts up. So I'm down to almost 11.2 volts. I want to say it's been about three and a half hours. I just wanted to get a quick current measurement. So I'm going to save my data. And when we're down at that lower voltage, we're pulling about 37, 36 amps. So this is the data that I took uh, while I was running this test. It's the volts over time of the battery. And what I did here was actually ran it till the refrigerator turned off. Then I opened the door so that it would actually heat up and force it into another cycle and I did that a total of three times 
and I got just under three hours, so I've almost had three hours of continuous running of the refrigerator, and you can see how that inrush current, uh, when it would kick in, it would actually pull the voltage down, but the lowest it ever got was down to about 10.9, and the inverter shuts off at about 10. So, I would say I have a pretty decent backup system. As long as I keep the door shut, I could probably get a day, I would guess, um, if I don't open the door at all. And hopefully you found this interesting, and thanks for watching.